Some lessons in the classroom make students ask themselves, will I ever really need this? But for this group of Gulliver students, including these young men from Coral Gables, what they learn in the classroom is being put towards solving a real-life problem. This device is a prototype for a solar-powered water purification system. The goal is to develop a way for the people of Haiti, who have been devastated by recent hurricanes, to get the clean drinking water they so desperately need. We asked them what else could we do to help, and they said they really need water. So instead of just giving them uh, cases of water or, you know, bottles, we said, well, they need a self-sufficient solar-powered machine. So what we did was we created this prototype, and now we're trying, we're, help, we're organizing with them to actually implement it in Haiti. So that's where we are with the project right now. The students involved with the project are part of the Junior Engineering Technical Society, or the Third Year Engineering course, which combines hands-on learning through service projects and textbook studies. Many of them have been a part of the project since its inception. We started this project last March, so I've been involved since the beginning of it. We all help out and do uh, leadership roles and everything. Um, it's a great feeling. I mean, we started off with nothing and just a couple of ideas and some of us working together after school and on Saturdays, and finally we got this whole product together so they can you know, produce clean water. This project was made possible thanks to a two-year grant from the Lemelson, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Together with Friends of the Orphans and MIT, Gulliver School plans to install the finalized water purification system at St. Damien Pediatric Hospital in Port-au-Prince. Department Chair Claude Sharon says getting to this phase did not come without challenges. It's an ongoing process and you always have problems and that's the whole idea of engineering is to solve that. The prototype will produce 15,000 gallons of safe drinkable water per day. According to Sharon, making a real difference in the lives of the less fortunate is a goal that inspires the students every day. And we're very excited, I'm very excited about the ability to help people with the, uh, with the devices that we have. For What's Happening Coral Gables, I'm Leanne Morejon.